I'm a bird. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. Greetings. This is General of the Armies, Vincent Diaz Jr. Is this a communique for Vladimir Putin? Attention to all world leaders. See, see all stakeholders. Be, see, see those I'm trying to have be a part of my lockdown community as well as anyone who fits the conditions to agree to the way of life. I didn't get through all the news in the last message. This one's really important. I also have some other news. I think this was mostly just news I needed to get through. China claims to have intercepted ballistic missile in flight. Yesterday, Fox News. This one's a big one. I guess I sort of got on good news. Like I have I have TV programming that can make almost the full smite of communism smites off TV. Like, I want a good news-only news network. Some, some funny stuff like that. Anyway, um, I was wondering whose, but I was also wondering where, and it says intercepted. I don't know. I guess I got a joke. Did, they, did the Elon Musk, like, fl- float it down onto a special magnet pad? Like, it's just waiting there. I don't know. The espionage. Just, just bait for someone to come get uh, let's see, vaccination, ruble high. Yeah, there's nowhere I feel safe. Georgia election workers describe how Trump helped ended their lives. Their lives. I, I, I had to let through. I wanted to let through. Somebody freaking hit me again at this park. I, I, again today, it didn't turn too terrible, but there had to be this freaking monster on the street. Was freaking yelling murder threats, saying they're kill threats. Maybe, maybe mess with me. And uh, is this other guy still in the park here? Maybe there's this guy part in the park here or not that was gonna be stuck out here all night. And it was at him, but it was coming. The monster was coming at me first. Saying that if you're out here all night, you're in the park, all night, I'm gonna kill you tonight when you're out here in the park. And, you know, all this happened right when I took my boot off. Like I've, I've, I haven't taken my boots off for like two weeks in a row. I took them off yesterday like I had some help and some time. I had some. I had to show off some support from the communists, like the Russians who could get here as technology sort of and not really people, so I could freaking do some hygiene and, you know, health movements. So I, I'm wearing my boots, like, for as long as possible because of this problem. Today I took, it, took one off because I had some stuff that got in it wrong to wipe it off. And there I am right in the process. This flies off. And there's that monster. Like, if he was here to threaten the other guy, he starts coming at me like he caught me vulnerable with my boot off. I put my boot on. Uh, and, 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 and he, he, he freaking moves on me like he's coming at me. Like, as my boot's going on, it's time to engage. I've had this problem too many times. I tell him I'm going to kill him if he doesn't stop this and he comes at me. Because he's done it the way he's surely here to murder me at my weakness. And then he, fuck, he, he, he snaps off this existential threat. You know, it's like... If you're out here in the park, you're trying to sleep, I'm going to murder you in your sleep. But he just said, I'm going to kill you tonight in your sleep. Or I'm going to kill you at night in this park. You know, this this has to end with the species when these monsters just always know how to snap off that threat. I mean, nowhere I feel safe. It's even worse than that. It's so much worse than that. I mean, I wish I could get behind a freaking door in a bed. And now I'm out here in the park, and they have to hit this again. Like, I've had to have this problem with some stupid monsters who think they own a park or something. They just lay down these freaking existential forever threats. In a special way, you know, it's like you, you're barely going to trust anybody, especially the one person. You know, it's like you're stuck in a park, and it's just like, no matter what, when you're trying to sleep, I'm going to try to sneak up on you and murder you. You're out here in the park, and I'm just going to come out here with my whole family. We're always going to be there. And if you're out here, we're trying to murder you in our special way. We're going to get to you when you're not paying attention. Blah, blah, blah. End their existence. All right, moving on. Here we go. Uvalde mayor slams state agency investigating school massacre. You've probably heard about this one by now. Uh, this one's good news. It says elementary building will be demolished. Maybe you can get that done for them. You've done well in Ukraine. Ah, did, they, did these line up? The Verge. Oh, yeah, but when they calm down the community a little bit, where it's somewhat regular, and after we had our exchange, and he, he sort of had a rabid freak out, and I had to submit to his man. It's like, don't look at me, blah, 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 blah. And I said, I had a tree by me. I just stepped behind the tree. When he started trying to, like, come at me over the fence, when, like, the first guy he threatened managed to, like, push him off the off the freaking entrance right there and rushing at us to so try to go around the fence to get to me, which is, which is fair enough because I have the defense the defense of the fence. You know, we, you know, it's an easy enough way to get him. I told him I'm going to kill him if he gets close enough. 
um, I step behind the, I step behind the tree, and you know, actually it's just like a crazy idiot yelling at a tree, sort of. Freaking goes off, or, uh, trying to hold back. Uh, instead of engaging a stupid rabid monster, I mean, you might have freaking given up because I hid behind the tree and I didn't look at him, and he got to walk away, you know, making his baby booble threats. And, you know, it's like, you're not going to kill me. You don't know how to kill a person. I'm always saying this to these goddamn murder monsters. I have curse. You're not going to kill me. All, you're, all you can do, you can't, you're, you can't kill me. You could only try to murder me. You're just a murderer. You're not a killer. You're a murderer. Blah, blah, blah. You just say kill. You just say murder. You'll never, tr- you'll never kill me. You could only try to murder me. Blah, blah, blah. Sort of calms down. Sort of calms down for a freaking society around here. Like he had at lunchtime too. The, the town square park here was, was kind of full. Uh, since I came out with my big plan, like I was going to be running Microsoft Office instead of all this internet stuff they messed up, uh, The Verge, Microsoft to retire controversial face recognition tool that claims to identify emotion. And then there was something like Microsoft 360, that was 12 hours ago, The Verge, from when I took the screen cap. Uh, I, I read something earlier, like Microsoft 360 has had a cyber attack and gone down, and so it's like Microsoft Office 360, I don't know what fully is going on. And then I saw something like Windows 10 and 11 are, are, are being freaking torn away from Russia or unsupported or something. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just not even, they're not even trying to hide what they're doing. I thought this might happen. I started talking about my system so I don't need their stupid internet ways. Sort of good news. Newsweek, 14 hours ago, Putin says Russia has best army after losing 34,000 troops in just four months. I sure hope the army's there for a good reason, not just treating them like the Marines. Like I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Thirty-four thousand troops. I wonder. I wonder how many. What? How many acres? How many, how many cities? I mean, I, I know what it is. I look across the USA. Like uh, when you try to take the USA, the way you might be sort of taking the Ukraine. I don't have a full a full understanding. It's like thirty-four thousand cities to take. Sometimes in, in, in the USA, in that space. Uh, giant sunspot has doubled in size in 24 hours and it's pointed at Earth. Uh, the news looks like they started saying some stuff about the sunspot we're, we're supposed to be seeing. Uh, as I've tried to theorize what is going on here with me having pointed out the sun is raising, ri- rising and setting in the north. Or there's something confusing. Microsoft 365 outage affects... Microsoft Teams and Exchange Online. Here we go with this worst case scenario. We said what happened when they when they pretended it was a monopoly and then tried to make up this antitrust stuff. Broke everything they possibly could when they managed to break some products apart. Microsoft uh, or Cloudflare fixes outage that knocked popular services offline. I haven't hunted this one down too much, but to see see that there they go, there they go, just 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 doing sort of like what we said this was about when they had to do that antitrust stuff and, and wreck stuff out where, where we had to give up on having everything you needed with the OS. With the OS, plane catches fire after landing in Miami. Three injuries reported. Uh, airplane makes crash landing, catches fire at Miami International Airport, multiple injured. thought this one is high enough. If you didn't know, I need to tell you some really serious world, world news. Who is Red? Air, the new Dominican Republic airline that crash landed in Miami. I was trying to get the model of a plane. It definitely looks like a jet engine plane. Maybe that's uh, uh, just a small body, just two rows, maybe six seats total with, with the middle open. I'm not sure. Microsoft disables Windows 10 and 11 downloads in Russia 15 hours ago. Tom's hardware. That's the one I was trying to recite. Uh, I needed that Windows 10 working for my plan, but I knew they might smite it out. Now I'm just getting down to seeing how far they'll take it. I, I just need to communicate. Like maybe I can still, you know, uh, use the standard, the standard smartphones, um, like FaceTime-like stuff. Like everybody has that, and have have um, uh, text editors and stuff. And the internet's not totally down. I wonder if they're going to try to smite out the text editor. And I'll just say, I'll just use a text editor. You done most of my work. Just a text editor. I don't know. Do I have to even have to get into pictures? I guess I want Photoshop or just just paint, text editor and paint, screen captures. I'm not sure what I'm doing anyway. I almost just want this technology totally ripped away, so no one has to do it. And like I can write with the, with paper and pencil, right? Again, the Russia Geneva Conventions don't apply to Americans captured in Ukraine. That's, that's kind of good news. That's kind of scary news. Whatever. 
So that about, here we go. They just had to do this. Like, I hit the mark on the last message, and kabam, U.S. to begin vaccinating young children against COVID. COVID-19 vaccinations begin for U.S. children under five. I mean, when have we ever allowed this sort of thing in society with any sort of technology like this? I, I thought when we finally lost that battle where they were going to force it for school, they couldn't start that until the children were going to start going to school. What is under five, not five? What is that, the mark? I forget sometimes. Researchers made cyborg locusts that can smell cancer. We've been having terrible battles with these these these, these bugs. We actually have a saying, end the species existence. Um, this is probably confirmation they're cyborgs. All right, uh, that's about that. Uh, I'm not sure if I have anything else. I wonder if I should even pause. Uh, uh, 7-Eleven was refusing to take currency from this country today. We have businesses refusing to take this currency's country in this in this country. Also at 7-Eleven, they keep smiting out the basic prop, the the basic offerings that are supposed to be there. I couldn't find an offering of meat under five dollars. I have there's like one can of Arizona iced tea I need, the, the basic iced tea can. Um, what is it, the ginseng with honey or whatever? And the, the Arizonas aren't ninety nine cents like they're supposed to be forever. They have them at a dollar twenty nine. Oh, there's all this talk uh, around my god boss training like I, I fail down to 7-eleven as it gets to turn the worst and here they go they're wasting 7-eleven then I was trying to get some pork rinds uh, as my meat substitute the pork rinds were gone pork rinds are also one of the lowest price I keep just wasting the lowest price options and categories like bags of chips and stuff just everywhere oh they they keep fighting off the eggs the, the peeled eggs oh, it's the worst it's the worst it's almost over. It's almost the, the community is start starting to to show up. Like I was, I was walking out of the Seven Eleven with it not having so, totally gone wild, but realizing I was sort of looking at one of those scenes, sort of like the TikTok was showing me. St- stuff sort of goes about that way, and then that fricker that is on fire before it's boarded up. Uh, uh, e- even if it's one of these really really important to society sites, people are starving bad. Looks like we have all these people who. Um, aren't really supposed to be outdoors they're outdoors now and uh, nobody seems to be able to get enough food I'm, i've been trying to pick my food out of the trash things have gone so bad we're finally at the situation there's, there's barely anything making it to the trash looks like people are being jerks and carrying theirs away when well, there might be something to pick from the trash but it also looks like it's the stuff in there we reject anyway these buses are monsters. They won't stop attacking. They don't even count as buses. Uh, our police cars look like they've almost set to full automation. I think I saw one of these police cars, I think, that set to full automation. Finally, like, good communism has taken control of them. Confront some idiots on motorcycles pretending to be police, where the uh, the good the good auto police car was trying to make an intersection actually flown with traffic while it was open, and these idiot motorcycles tried to override it, wailing, wailing sirens. So we got to see them confront each other when the whole intersection sort of stopped down dead. Well, that, was a, that was a nice display. I think things are getting better here. Oh, I, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, if we can get this right before I run out of money for food. I've been starved so hard so long and th- things keep exploding so bad about how much food I need. Um, I might lose it. I might, I might lose it. I might lose it. I might lose it if I starve too hard. I've been starving way too hard. I'm starving way too hard right now. And if I finally start hitting those units where I have to search trash can to trash can, and, and, and it has to be this unreasonable amount of walking, like I'm going to have to walk four miles every night doing this, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to make it without without losing my mind and the birds taking control of me. And, and, and I, I don't know what, what else I'm saying last. I'm going to, I'm going to just, just, just totally destroy everything that does this as best I can. Or, or not come back until this is solved to, to consciousness anyway. That's most basically our plan. I got a $20 handout tonight. It wasn't right, but I, I managed to get that. Uh, I wonder how much people have. That's, that's, uh, I think I spent 15 at, at 7-Eleven today for two Arizonas and then and then uh, two 10-piece mini tacos. Then I went back in there and got two more Arizonas. Those were gone. The cheese sticks were out. The, the $1 mozzarella cheese sticks. The pork rinds were out for like 99 cents. I don't think there was any other option for meat below $5 with barely any cold options for much of anything. Uh, what did I end up getting? 
and there was a package of Swiss cheese for a dollar eighty or something, which which ended up being my food. So I've I've, I've had I've had that for today. And I know I know I'm just facing down the situation. Like they, they, I feel like I'm left with like ten dollars a day. Uh, today I spent fifteen. I'm gonna get broken down to having to hold, just hold money for drinks. When I break down so far, I'm just gonna try to have money for food. It's gonna be really hard to try to get a drink for free if I even bother trying. Uh, well, I don't know what we're talking about. I'm gonna wind up hitting this 40 mark. I'm gonna have 40 in currency, and I might have 40 on my card, right? I think I'm supposed to have. When I get to that 40, I'm gonna take the next 40 out of the bank into currency. Things are so wrecked at the 7-Eleven, I have to work in currency. Uh, it's too much. It's just too much. And then these people who, who are sort of like handing out humanitarian aid, it's like they'll give you one and take five. Like someone showed up with this meal, these bags, like I was supposed to get five or six at least. They hand me one. I actually got two dollars in one. Like it was a miracle. Uh, when I was, Like when these communists were helping me the other day, it totally failed, but they were just sort of technology and the clothing. Um... And, and there, there, then you know, it's like there, there's that monster. It's, it's just like it's just like every time they, they'll manage to get you one, but I don't know how many they're getting. It's just like you're just going to get one, no matter how many they get. Who they got in the way of this? Oh boy! And I was walking through that Seven Eleven. You know, where is or is there really no meat offering under five dollars? I sort of started exploding. I was, calm down, calm down. I got to get out of here with this food. Sort of calm down. Let me get out of there with the food before they wanted to have whatever whatever spat they were having. I walked out to get my mail on this Juneteenth holiday, on Monday, and the, and their monster system wouldn't give me my mail from the previous days, even though that day was a no mail day. Like they have they have like one person at every job. It's like they still had like 15 people in there, but there's one person of those 15 that is the person that hands my mail to me basically from the mailbox or, you know, whatever the simple system is. And that person managed to take the day off it's because there wasn't uh, mail from the post office, even though I had my month, month month's worth of mail. They're waiting to be picked up. And then the idiot at the counter is just, like, playing audio clips. And no mail today. I, was, I keep having this problem with them. I'm like, man, you can't say that that way before you'll snap a community to torture you to death over this. You know, because you, you, you say it's like no mail service today, but they don't get to say that because that's the post office before they before they have to admit something. Like that person whose only only job is to you know pick your stuff up and bring it out to you because we do that to you, so you can't get in there to pick it up yourself because there are presents we pay with on the way out that we then give to you or something. You know, it's in here the day they took the holiday off like the mail worker. Uh, I think he said something when I worked him over a little bit. Just, just a check, just a check. So I said, I was just going to do this check. I know these retards' language. He's like, I, I can't check that for you. Okay, okay, I've enabled you. If you if you get that retard lit out, so just saying the one idiot audio clip you think you can say and still have the right to work back there, not hand our food out to us as best you can. You have you have 500 bags of food that were supposed to be four big boxes or something, and you're going to hand them hand to each person one of them. So you wind up with like. 350 bags of food and handed out 50 or whatever this is. It's just, this is unbearable. Unbearable. But we also think, we also think, though, with my prowess, despite how hard I've starved, it's about just how little normal people can take the sort of starvation I'm under for, for how, how short of a time. Uh, we don't know what it's just in hours, is it even in days, people can stand what I've been standing. Before they'll, they'll ignite, snap, light this place on fire. <laughs>